Hey everyone and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm Brugly and in this video I'm going to be talking about a backrooms level called the Hallowed Gate. This level is crazy and it's mysterious and it's huge and I really think you all are going to enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So the Hallowed Gate is classified as a class undetermined, and most of its properties and characteristics are unknown, and most information as well is pretty rare to come by. The level is sort of an elusive level that's thought to exist somewhere in the void, and the void is just an endless abyss of nothingness that you can get trapped in by trying to noclip between levels in the back rooms. So you could try to noclip from level 0 to level 1, but you might get stuck in this void area. And originally it was thought that nothing was in the void, but this level is most likely there. The level physically is made up of one huge behemoth gate that looks like it's made out of pure gold and marble. And these materials can't be broken or cracked or anything like that, and they seemingly take no damage from anybody that tries to break through. And the gate is always in a closed position, but it can be opened by a couple of ways. The whole level is not just this one gate, there's many other gates and hallways and rooms and corridors and that kind of stuff, but it does start with this one huge gate. One way that you can open this huge gate is you can find an ornamental key artifact that's laying around around somewhere and use it to enter, and another way is that the gate will just open itself to you. I mean, <laughs> that'd be easy. Although sometimes the gate will eject wanderers if they don't have the proper key, uh, so you might want to try to get a key, but who knows, it has a might of its own. And the fact that it might have a might of its own leaves some people to believe that it's some kind of artificial intelligence, or there's some kind of higher power controlling this gate and the other gates. Since this level does take place inside of the void, most of the floors and walls are just blank nothingness, but you can still somehow walk on the floor, as if you were walking on the real thing. However, in some areas there are floors, but right here with this big gate, you're just walking on the air, man. So past the gate and inside of the level, there are these huge open hallways and rooms that have this Baroque style of architecture to them. And almost everything inside, just like the gate, is made out of gold and marble. And the level's halls and rooms are very cold and they stay around negative 7 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 22 degrees Celsius. And the marble makes it feel even colder. These level rooms are split into specific zones or sublayers, which I'll talk about in a minute. But each of the different rooms are separated by large gold and marble doors, however they're not as big as the original door. And each time one of these doors opens and closes back, it changes how it looks, which can make walking through this entire level really difficult because you can't really tell where you've been and where you haven't been. Now as I said earlier, this level is really rare to get to, and only a very few amount of people have ever set foot here and have lived to tell the story. Most people are thought to get lost in the labyrinth of doors and halls, and some people are even consumed by an effect called the blackout cycle. Now the blackout cycle is almost like a natural disaster in a way that happens on this level. And when it happens, the entire level goes dark, and you can hear loud thumping noises echoing through the hallways, and even sometimes electrical buzzes. On top of the loud noises and the ground shaking, there are these creepy ghost-like figures that speedily move closer to you. It's thought this blackout cycle is some kind of security system for the level and it tries to scare people off. I mean, it would, it would work for me if there was a ghost running at me in a hallway. I'm gonna be real. But apparently these ghosts can really mess up people's heads and oftentimes people suffer amnesia attacks or PTSD from interacting with them, so. But when the blackout effect is not happening, it's almost like this level mesmerizes people in a way because of how big and grandiose it is. I mean, it's literally just these massive, huge golden hallways and, and marble hallways and everything is just massive and it's hard to take in the sheer size of it. I imagine that it would be kind of like walking into the Versailles Palace in real life for the first time. But who knows? Now I'm going to talk about the different sublayers or rooms of the level, and they're pretty neat, I gotta say. Sublayer A is made up of the Great Passage, which is the first massive hallway that seemingly does go on forever in one direction. 
Think of a huge castle corridor. And then there are different rooms that splinter off from this great passage. Sublayer B is made up of another area called the Halls of Abundance. Now this hallway and room is held up by thin threads in the void. And in the middle of this room, there is this massive dining table with food and plates and silverware on it. And the food is not old. I mean, it's literally edible, so you can eat it if you want to. Sublayer C is called the Curator's Halls, and this is a hallway full of statues of Backroom's entities. The statues are life-size, and there are creatures that we know and love, like wretches and stuff that are in statue form, but there are also creatures that we don't know and have never been seen before as well. Each statue has a golden plaque on the bottom, and there are words written in an unknown language on it. Sublayer D is a huge courtyard with ornamental plants in the middle. Sublayer E is a grassy area with weird plants everywhere as well. Sublayer F is a massive armory where there are all kinds of combat related stuff, night stuff, and anything you can think of that is related to war. And then sublevels G, H, I, and J are all specific rooms that tie into these hallways I just talked about. And each of them have different properties and are uniquely dangerous. To enter this level, you can enter from the void by any of its sources. But obviously, that's not smart, because the void is dangerous in and of itself, and no one actually knows how to get to the hallowed gate level from the void. It's just a randomly appearing gateway in the endless abyss of darkness. And since normal people really can't find this level, it's kind of hard to say if there's even an exit to it. Alrighty, that was Backrooms Level Hallowed Gates. It's kind of a grandiose set of hallways, rooms, and corridors with these gothic and baroque themes that's floating in the middle of the void level. And I really like this one because of how rare it is to get here. It makes it seem kind of like the Hollow Earth or the Antarctica and stuff like that. You know, it's there, but you'll probably never make it there, and it just seems mystical in a way. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and supporting me. I genuinely appreciate it. The channel is almost at 400k as I'm making this video, which is utterly ridiculous to think about. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to go check out Spoogly for weekly cryptid and SCP videos and Toogly for gaming and IRL stuff. And speaking of Spoogly and Toogly, I have just uploaded a video on each of them. In fact, I've recently uploaded two videos on Toogly and Among Us video and a pretty funny tier list video that I think you're really gonna enjoy. And over on Spoogly, I just uploaded a chicken cryptid. That's right, a chicken cryptid video. Thank you all for the support on those. I'm looking forward to the content that's about to go up across all the channels. Hope you're ready. Thank you. So thank you so much for everything. Make sure to just have a great day. Thank you for everything you do for me. I really appreciate it. I'm so hyped for the fall and winter. I hope you're hyped for it as well. I have so much planned. Thank you for everything. I'll see you later. Peace.